Now the first step is to run Ubisoft Connect as an administrator. Now for this you can type in Ubisoft Connect in Windows search box and then make a right click on Ubisoft Connect and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And once the Ubisoft Connect is up and running, now you can launch the game from Steam and then you can check. Now the next step is to run Steam as an administrator. Now for this you can close Steam first. So go to Steam and then click on exit. And once Steam is closed, now you can launch Steam as an administrator and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to disable G-Sync in NVIDIA control panel. So you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, then go to show more op option. And over here you will see NVIDIA control panel. If you don't see NVIDIA control panel over here, in that case you can type in services in Windows search box and then go to services, find NVIDIA services over here. So here you can see NVIDIA services, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. And again, make a double click on this NVIDIA services, set it to automatic, apply, start, and then click on OK. And then make a double click on this NVIDIA services, automatic, apply, click on start and then click on OK and then you can go to desktop make a right click show more option and then go to NVIDIA control panel now once you go to NVIDIA control panel you can find the option um, like set up G-Sync and over here you can uncheck the box which says enable G-Sync disable G-Sync and then check this has worked for many uh, players so it might work for you so the next step is to Try window mode in config file. So you can open file explorer and then go to documents folder. And over here you will see Assassin's Creed shadows. Open this folder, open this AC shadows config file, scroll down and then you will find this option which is window mode. Let me check. So here you can see window mode and right now this is set to two and I think this is borderless. So you can just type in the number one over here in front of window mode and then go to file and then click on save. Now you can launch the game. The game should launch in window mode and then you can check. Now the next step is to delete or rename the config file. If that does not work, you can just make a right click on AC shadows. If you want to create a backup, you can copy this. Uh, you will lose all the saved settings. And then once you have a backup, you can make a right click and then you can delete AC shadows or you can delete this complete Assassin Creed shadows. You might lose all the save game progress and saved game settings. So you have to start everything from scratch. So you can make a right click and delete this folder and then you can check. But first of all, try to delete only the config file. I don't think this, this is a save game file. So just make a right click, delete it and then launch the game. Now the next step is to Uncheck read only from the game exe and the game folder. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, go back and here you can see Assassin's Creed Shadows. Make a right click and then go to properties and then uncheck the option which says read only and then hit apply. Apply changes to this folder, subfolders and file, click on OK and then click on OK. Open this folder. Now make, do the same thing in the game exe file, make a right click, go to properties and then if this is checked read only, uncheck this box, hit apply, click on OK and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, then you can go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view and then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. 
by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website select your graphic card and then select your operating system and then first of all first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver then restart your computer then go to amd website and then in install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed in my case the game installed in c drive so for many users installing the game to c drive has also worked so try to install the game to c drive when the steam steam apps common and then open the game folder select this game exe file and then click on add now once the game is added over here click on the game and then over here you can see gpu preference set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to roll back graphics driver to version 572 or you can try to roll back graphic driver to the older version so you can go to nvidia website once again and then select your graphic card from the list now once you select your graphic card make sure that you select the right graphic card select your graphic card this is just an example and then select the right operating system and then click on start search and right now it's 572.83 if this does not work you can try 572.70 or maybe 572.60 so download the file but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update steam now for this you can go to steam click on steam over here and then over here uh, you can see check for steam client update so update steam and then relaunch steam and then launch the game and then check next step is to try window mode or directx 11 or directx 12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can just type in dash w i n d o w e d window mode and then you can check if that does not work you can even try dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this uh, we have already done this go browse local files make a right click go to properties go to this tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security and then go to virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app click on browser apps and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again select the game exe file over here click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once you have the game added so in my case the game is already added once the game is added over here now launch the game and then check now the next step is to amd users install this amd optional update that is 25.2.1 so in google you can search this update 
and then you can go to AMD website only and then scroll down and over here you will see this optional update you can click on this optional update once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then restart your computer and then after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work you can even try this amd 25.1.1 pipe go for go to md website only and then download this optional update again once the download is complete you can run this uh, you can run this exe file and once installed, restart, you can be a restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to update, uh, unplug all the external devices. So if you have HOTAs, VLE, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, which you're not using, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple uh, controllers. Sometimes we have extra controller connected or USB dongle of the controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, re uh, close it. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then you can launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and then turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, like NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience running, in that case, you can go to NVIDIA uh, settings, and then once you go to settings, you will see NVIDIA overlay. You can turn that off, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application, any other overclocking application running, you can close it. So sometimes uh, it's hidden over here. So uh, you can click on this app up arrow over here. And if you have MSI Afterburner running, you can close it. If you have Reva Tuner running, close it. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. So open Windows Update, uh, go to Windows Update, click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. Make sure that your Windows is up to up to date to the latest version. Right now, it's uh, I mean, uh, it's 24H2. So update your Windows to the latest version and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 
फोर नाइन वन फाइव वन फाइव टू नाउ क्लिक ऑन सेट ओवर हियर देन क्लिक ऑन ओके ओके अप्लाई ओके ओके नाउ रीस्टार्ट कंप्यूटर मेक श्योर दैट यू रीस्टार्ट यू कंप्यूटर आफ्टर दिस now the next step is to update the system bios this is important go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter is connected when you update the bios and after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode turn off frame generation lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game you can go to options go to options and then go to video once you go to video now over here if this is set to like borderless window you can set it to window mode and then check so switch to window mode and lower down resolution so if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 to 1080p you can even lower down more and scroll down and over here if you are selecting nvidia dlss in that case you can set the upscaler quality to quality and if you are using afs amd fsr then again set it to quality and then check turn off frame generation so if this is on you can just turn it off and then apply the settings and then check the performance now overall preset now if this is set to like very high you can set it to high you can even go for medium apply the settings and then you can check the performance now the last step is to install the game to c drive so first of all try to install the game to c drive so uninstall the game this has worked for few players so it might work for you uninstall the game after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel